John here, welcome to another video. Um, I hope you are okay. Um, if you are new, welcome to the channel. If you are an existing kind of regular viewer, then welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna do, um, I don't know if you can see it, I'm assuming you can. Um, a summertime vlog, kind of tag questionnaire type thing, seeing all it is summer. Um, it's only a quick 20 questions, I think. I don't think there's any more than that. I think it all fits on this one little bit that you can see. I should be somewhere kind of down here, I think. Um, if I've got my setup right. So let's crack into it. Are you a summer person? No. Uh, but I'm doing this purely because it is summer and it is something to do. What is your favourite thing about the summer? Um, nothing, to be honest. <laughs> this is going to go ridiculous. This is. Um, do you stay indoors or outdoors more than summer? I stay indoors because it is usually cooler indoors. What is your favourite ice cream flavour? Raspberry Ripple. What is your favourite summer clothing? At the moment, I've actually got them on. And they are a nice pair of Nike Air... Uh, um, knee-length mesh trousery shorty type things. Um, da, 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 beach or swimming pool? Well, I would have to say beach because I can't swim. What do you like most about the beach? The sand. Yeah. <laughs> What's your least favourite thing about the beach? The sea. What is your favourite summertime song? Um, that would have to be Len, Still My Sunshine. It has such an upbeat, kind of funky tune to it. And it's kind of like, whenever I listen to it, that kind of encapsulates that whole summer for me. Um, it was a good year when that came out. And I was just kind of buzzing from all sorts of stuff that was out and about. And it was good times. Has good memories. Favourite summertime movie? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've got one. I don't really think of any films, like summertime films, other than maybe Grease or Grease 2 or something, where they're kind of set in the kind of that summer type thing. Um, Favourite summertime restaurant? I don't go to restaurants. Do you eat? Do you or eat? Do you or eat out? What? Do you all eat out more often during the summer? I think that's do you eat in or out? Um, I eat in. Do you party a lot during the summer? No, because I don't do people. What's your best summertime memory? Um, 1991, 92, something like that. The year that Brian Adams... Everything I do, I do for you. The year that, the summer that was in the charts. Um, my family, like me, my mum, my two sisters, my uncle, my nan and my great grandma. We all went into a static caravan in Skegness. And that was like the only kind of real holiday that I've ever really had. Um, as an older type person, I mean I was what, 11, 12, but, you know, as a, in memory. I went on holiday as a kid. I do remember going on a holiday as a kid, but nothing that kind of sticks in my mind kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was the year that I discovered the prodigy. I didn't know it at the time until several years later. Um, they used to go on the, the spinny ones, the waltzes at the waltzes. Um... The one that spin round and go round and round, spin round, but you like in a, in a kind of, yeah. I think it was the waltzes. Um, the the music that they played, um, turned out it was actually the prodigy when I was listening back to it years later. Um, what annoys you most about the summer? Oh no, the funniest. No, what? Where are my funniest summertime memory? Um. I don't know. I don't think I have one. 
What annoys you most about the summer? The sun. I'm not a sudden person. Do you spend more money during the summer? Probably yes, because you know you get that kind of like, oh, gotta do stuff. Um, do you prefer to keep longer or short hair? I tend to keep it shorter than this. I am due a haircut. Um, I only tend to grow my hair a bit longer during winter, but during summer I try to keep it reasonably short. I mean, this is way too long. Um, so yeah, hopefully a glass mum. Over the next few days, I shall do it. Maybe this weekend. Um, who do you normally spend most time summer with? It used to be my sister. Um, but since we've not spoken for a few years, it's probably got to be the only person I do spend any time with, and that's my mum. Where would you go for your dream summer vacation? Whitby. I won't go abroad. I won't go to all these foreign countries. I won't go to Thailand or Australia or New Zealand or America. I'll keep it in the UK and go to Whitby. A nice gothic little kind of gothic y kind of quaint oldie worldy kind of town, seaside town. And um, it's got a harbour. Um it's got like two Two things that stick out of the ocean, of the sea. Um, it's got a wonderful little rotating bridge. Rather than bridges going up like that to let things through, this one actually goes like that, or like that. One of the two goes like it, it swivels. It it does it swivels to let the boats come through into the harbour. You know, it's kind of cool, and you, it sets off a little kind of ringing noise and the barriers come down and it's it's quite a little spectacle to watch um because you've got like one side of the town is like yeah um your seaside place so you've got like your fish and chip shops your arcades your rock shops your souvenirs um there's a dracula experience because obviously whitby is where dracula landed when he came to the uk Apparently, you know, according to the book. Um, so there's um, the whole chapter in Bram Stoker's Dracula dedicated just to Whitby, which is why I love it. Um, so there's like a little Dracula experience, and they've got like the wig that Gary Oldman wore, um, the big grey wig that's kind of like bulges out and got long plaits. They've got that in there. They've got Christopher Lee's cape that he wore when he was doing the Hammer Horror Draculas. You know, they've got quite a lot of um, Dracula memorabilia. And um, we've got that in the the resort type thing. I mean, go over the bridge and then you've got all your old, oldy worldy quaint little shops and that's where all the houses are um, that people live in. Got little cottages that you can rent out. Um, also, with the old side, you've got a um, you've got a little church. But in order to get to the church, you've got to climb, which is quite famous for it, 199 stairs, like steps to get into the start church. Um, when you get to the top, you can buy a little badge that says, "I climbed the 199 steps to Whitby Abbey." Um, because not only is there a church, you also got some old kind of medieval gothic-y um, monk. Abbey ruins. Um, I've done like loads of photos and paintings of it over the years. It's a lovely little place. But that's where I would go. I've ranted on about that for quite a bit. Um, that last question, but you know, it's I love it. I've not been there in a very long time because of my mental health. I wouldn't cope on a coach. Um, I don't know anyone who would want to drive there. Um, so yeah, I haven't been for quite a long time and apparently it has changed quite a bit since the last time I went. It's become more towny, apparently. And like more nightclubs and stuff like that over there now, more restaurants. Um so I don't know if I'd be if I'd still like it as much. 
Um, but yeah, that's where I'll go. And I think that was the last question. Because now you just get all garbage and other people doing it. So yeah, that was the last question. Just 20. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was a bit pointless me doing it, to be honest. Because like I say, I'm not really a summer person. Um, couldn't answer a few questions because I have no... In my lifestyle, I have no connection points to those questions. Um, so yeah, you know, do all those things that us YouTubers normally ask you to do. Like, subscribe, comment, buzzer, um, you know, do all that. And I'll see you all in another video. Bye.